welcome to the Sudorim self-guided tour that you can't take yourself, but I'll take you one anyway. Issue one was our philosophy, right? Control C, Control V. Point number two on our stop is our famed 3D printer. Here is a thermo, thermo extraction process, 3D printer, printing, um, glow in the dark, uh, PLA, and we can teach you how to use this. Bit crazy, but can make sort of things like this. What is this, you ask me? Follow me over to number three, the pseudo-controlled web door, which is part one of our philosophy. What can this door do? All right, yeah, check this out, I say. Maybe you're outside the space, you don't know how to get in or what ifs, and you're like, or don't have a key, and I'm like, no probs, right? Because we've got the pseudo door, yeah? Web interface, so just stick in your password here. Door's locked right now. I'm gonna say open inside door. Hmm. Um. Okay, it's, I don't know, it's not working for the demo I was working about two years ago. Revoke so, this password. Okay. Yeah. We're, gonna do, we're gonna come back to that. Okay, four. Automated garden, yeah? Do a lot of gardening, probably gets a bit tedious. What is automated garden? Automated garden is, well, it's just basically an irrigator with some electrical commands that you can probably control by your phone in the future. That's not a bad idea, you might say. What are you gonna do with all the stuff you grow in your garden? You're gonna turn it into Sue beer, yeah? Beer, beer brewing, all right now. And, yeah, hackers love to get drunk, but don't they also love to get really wired on mate and the answer is yes to that rhetorical question and uh, we can make we're making open source mate and we want five million people to know the recipe number six yeah you can have a locker so we just got that you want some personal space lock it up in these odd shaped lockers that we got so that's one thing everybody wants to know about the mesh network don't they yeah look at that old direct direct tv satellite dish um, we're going to blanket open and Wi-Fi. Other people think they can do it, but they're companies and they can't do things properly. We're going to do it in the grounds, in the, uh, in the grassroots sort of way. You're going to drop Verizon at t and this, already in testing, has been uh, Wi-Fi across Lake Merritt. Number eight, MC Hawking which is a robot we've gotten, uh, donated from Noisebridge and we've started to hack ourselves here. If you'd like to come in this angle and uh, see some of the features, we've got a, a wheelchair with a connect on the top and a, an arm and a light and uh, some face tracking yeah. software and it will run you over. You know, I, I, um, I know okay, nine and ten, let's get everyone here. Okay, bicycle um, repair. You're going to cycle here because you're a pack behind you. So you're going to need to fix your bike when you come. We all know about that. Uh, humidifying mushroom growing chamber, so you're going to grow your mushrooms We're gonna make it uh, at What are you going to do when you need to make your own mushroom humidifier? You're going to make it using all of our tools. It's going to be woodworking. You're going to have a CNC machine um, that's controlled over here. We've got every conceivable type of uh, spanner. I'm not sure that that's actually true, but there's so many spanners here that it makes me think that it could possibly be true. So you're going to use your tools and woodworking over here. Okay. Let's continue over to number 12, the library. E. In our library, you can just learn. We're not late fees. You know, whatevs, that's just a joke about the fact that it's not a proper library. But it also means that you can have infinite checkout times as long as you bring it back. Which I now th notice it's probably better to say arbitrary long checkout times because we don't allow infinite checkout times because we do want you to bring it back. That's that one. That's our desk here. Um, we call it the conference table. A lot, well, mostly the most used tool. This is actually where we spend a lot of time. And it's notable because you can just hang out. That's true. Uh, we're going to, uh, to, to do some civil disobedience. Okay, 13, stuff library for your projects. Okay, come in to our stuff library, and eventually we're also going to go to the pirate radio room after that. So come through our chamber. By the way, we need to rip that off. Um, look at this. All right, every conceivable component. Again, I'm not sure that it is every conceivable component, but it's so 
splayed out that it looks like it's having considerable components. You might be thinking, oh yeah, you know, it's a bit messy in here. And I'm saying, yeah, it's a bit messy because it's a community space and we don't hire people, maids or like any interns at like $8.50 an hour. This is all done by volunteer work and it's really meaningful that it looks like it does because it's a, it's a testament to the organization and the fact that we're trying to do it ourselves and not using old models of like hierarchy and paying people to do minor parts. Everybody here is an equal member and if some things are messy because people don't like to do that, then that's something we have to address in a consensus based way. That was a long run. I need you into the radio room where we're broadcasting 24-7 at radio.cdroom.org. Uh, and an eclectic mix of esoteric hacker noise. Um, and then also, if we switch this, we're now talking live, not only on the internet, but also on FM radio. Uh, some people say, oh, you need a license to broad FM ra broadcast FM radio. And I say, do you? So I just said that on air as well. Um, that's the radio room for you. Lastly, let's go back out. And have we got to the end? And uh, this says, you might be thinking, fuck, this is intimidating, and I'm no good at technology. We say, yes, that's the point. You don't need experience. We learn together, you and I, and we are anti-tech elitism. We have weekly meetups, yeah, and one of classes, and we want you to teach us one of classes as well, because we're going to do it together. Probably got a few questions left, haven't you? FAQ, maybe this answers them. How much does it cost to be a member? It costs zero to sixty dollars per month, right? You can pay nothing and be a full member. That's correct. Okay. Because we also say here, again swearing, fuck capitalist rent seekers. We just need one thousand five hundred dollars per month. And last month we made two thousand four hundred dollars just off donations. How long have we been around? Idea came around November two thousand and eleven and we started renting about six months ago. So it has come up a little bit and we're just a bit more than a year old from conception. Then you might be saying, I'm still intimidated. And I told you, I just tore down the other part that said, don't be intimidated. Don't be, we're really trying to do things differently. We acknowledge that the sexism and racism technology, we operate in consensus based meetings, and we're open to your suggestions because we want you to be a pseudo as well. We want to do things differently than they've done, been done in the past, and we want to do it for free. We want you to come to pseudo room. I'm just going to keep it running for a while, in case. Maybe, maybe I'll just go out and sit on the ladder, and then you'll just film me sitting on the ladder. And then make sure you record the entire story someone has, because you may think you know where the story is going, but then something fun happens. So the John Brothers Piano Company, I don't know if you've seen them at Bart Stops, they have a piano that they roll out and clarinet, and they just wail.